We only had to wait 10 minutes for the game's first goal. Pass back from Whelan. Well dealt with, I thought, by Jody Byrne. But John Bacon was alert to a chance. Dodd timed his run to perfection. How about that? Roberto Badger, eat your heart out. The scorer, young Alan Dodd from Ballybrack. Shamrock Grover's one up. But listen at it again. Great run from deep. Alert to what was on. The defence was coming out. Dodd was going in. And so was the ball. Good little ball up the line from Nolan. Mick Neville usually deals with those with great ease, but Gagan's on to it. Bacon must have heard a call in Steve's McGrath, and a magnificent shot. 33 minutes gone, 2-0 for the hoops. It was Neville's error. Bacon let it run on, but this is as good a finish as you'd see anything. Derek McGrath. Then in the second half, we almost had another absolutely artistic goal. Watch this. Jody Byrne off his line. John Bacon's the Rovers player. Realises it's an empty goal. That close. Just the bar. Who would have talked about that one too? Great effort, John Bacon. And there was one last goal to come. Seven minutes from the end. The corner. The Alan Byrne header. The own Mullen finish. The lead 3-0. And that was going to be the finishing score. And it was most fitting that the man whose header made it was Alan Byrne. For me, the man of the match, having another of those power games of this. So, Shamrock Rovers with a four-point lead over Cork City with just two games to go, and it looks like the Hoops are on their way to their first title since 1987, though Cork City may have other things to say about that. And the remaining games for Shamrock